Hey everybody, it's Josh from Wise Bites, and today we're bringing you a fun and informative video on how to discover your influencer sweet spot. Get ready for some laughs, some learning, and most importantly, finding your niche. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you never miss any of our amazing content. Well, at least some of it's amazing. Now let's jump right in. All right, folks, you wanna be the next Marie Kondo, sparking joy and taking the internet by storm? Or maybe you got some Logan Paul on you. Well, to be successful like them, you gotta find your niche, or niche, or whatever you wanna call it. Let's break it down. Here are five general tips and five specific examples or better ways how to figure it out for YouTube and podcasting. I hope they spark something in you. So first, let's just jump in with some general tips. First, reflect on your passions. What makes you jump out of bed in the morning? You know those things that really flip your biscuit? Now write them all down, passionately. Number two, research the market. It's time to channel your inner Sherlock and investigate the online world for gaps and opportunities. Let you in on a secret, ChatGPT is your friend, or the Watson to your Sherlock. Number three is experiment with content. Throw some content spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. I have made some real stinker videos trying to find my thing, and in fact, I'm still a work in progress because it's not easy being this cheesy. Number four, analyze your audience feedback. It's why you experiment. You gotta put stuff out there to analyze. Check those comments and shares, or in my case, the hate mail and the harsh critiques, but you know, they're just there to make you better. And sometimes negatives tell you you've struck a nerve and you might be onto something. That might be your niche. Number five, stay adaptable. Keep an open mind and don't be afraid to pivot if needed. Change is good. I tried a little comedy, not to worry, I haven't given up, but found that people like my videos about record players and auction results. Kind of niche, right? Let me give you some examples on how to, for YouTube. Let, let me show you how to figure it out. Maybe for YouTube, for example. Explore some popular categories. You love traveling? Become a travel vlogger. Just don't forget to pack your sense of humor, be yourself, and don't try too hard. If you're not your genuine self, people can tell. Number two, combine interests, try that. If you're in the fitness and cooking, create a, a channel for uh, healthy recipes and workout routines. Talk about multitasking and you know, maybe like I'm gonna burn this off, so yes, put more butter in that. Burn off the butter, that's a good channel. I'm gonna use that one, although I don't work out or cook. Anyway, number three, identify underserved audiences. Help introverts like thrive in a personal growth and self-care. Maybe subcultures are great too, like a channel for Dungeons and Dragons dice collectors. I should do that one. Number four, leverage YouTube analytics. If people love your sustainable living content, go all in on eco-friendly lifestyle tips and product reviews. Give the people what they want. And five, test niche focused series. Like you could create a video series on culture of lesser known countries and their history. Who knows, you might become great at Jeopardy along the way, but give it a try. Now let me give you how to find like maybe a podcast niche. These are a little trickier as far as I'm concerned, but listen to a variety of podcasts. Find your niche by exploring different genres and formats. They can be very inspirational. Second, like determine your target audience. Reach parents with a podcast raising children in the digital age. That would be a great niche with lots of potential fans. Number three, examine podcast charts. Self-improvement is trending, so create a show that explores strategy for personal and professional growth if that's your jam. Number four, experiment with episode formats. Mix expert interviews and storytelling. That's a winning combination these days. I love this style, but that can be a lot of prep work. Number five, solicit listener feedback. It's what I was telling you before. You know, throw stuff out there and see what they like. You know, your fans will tell you what you want. The Spice Girls knew that. So tell me what you want. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, let me give you a little success story. Pat Flynn. The creator of Smart Passive Income, the podcast and the blog, has built a loyal following focusing his expertise on online entrepreneurship. He's got 405,000 loyal subscribers on YouTube alone. And by the way, that's more subs than Inc. Magazine's entire YouTube channel. Remember, success is all about finding your niche. So before I go, I do wanna share six notable benefits from having like a really tight niche, okay? That, whatever you say. What'd you say about my niche? Okay, number one. Easier audience targeting. You know, you know who your people are, it's easier to market to them. 
Number two, increased engagement. They want what you're selling, so they'll be engaged. Number three, it's the most effective for monetizing because these are people that'll click and follow you and clicks are the money. Number four, enhanced credibility. They'll come back. You know, you are the expert in the space. They're gonna come and visit you. And it's better, number five, for collaboration because of that. You're a leader, other leaders will check you out and so will the newbies. And number six, it's faster growth because again, your marketing dollars can be more effective. So, there you have it. If you're an aspiring influencer, that's the lowdown on finding your niche and making your mark. Remember, it's all about finding your passion, experimenting and adapting, and a little chat GPT to help you out there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications to join our ever-growing Wise Bites TV community. We got loads of fantastic content to help you level up your content creation game. It's great for your small business, if you're an entrepreneur, and it's just great for the soul. Until next time, stay wise and keep creating. Thank you.